Hey everyone, we're here at EA's Spring Break 2009. I'm joined by Lucy Bradshaw of Maxis, and we're talking about Spore Hero for Nintendo Wii. Lucy, we don't know a lot about this game, so where do we start with Spore Hero? Oh, really, it's been kind of an adventure for us as well. We thought about Spore. You might know that from the PC and the game that we made. What we've done is kind of design this one from the bottom up. Okay. It was a natural fit for us because of the way the Wii controls allow you to have so much more of a deeper control of that creature that you get to make. So, like Spore, creativity is a thread, but it's, we've really kind of designed it to be an open adventure where you create the creature, you create the hero, and you are the hero in the game. All right, so I popped the game in the disc for the first time. What do I see? What am I doing right from the get-go? Well, one of the things is you are in an area of the galaxy who's having sort of a really bad day. Your planet is having a catastrophic event, and you plummet to this new planet on the tails of a blue meteor. Beside you is a red meteor, so that's a little hint of some foreboding danger in your, in your near future. But there you are on a new planet, ready to evolve and take on any challenges that might come. So in this very open adventure space, you have different quests of different types. Some are on combat, and you'll be challenged that way. Others really take advantage of the planet landscape itself. You're going to need new abilities and evolve yourself to be able to take on these challenges. So collection and adventure and befriending different species types so that you can get past them and take on new challenges. It sounds pretty nonlinear. Do you have How much choice do you have as a player as to what kind of quests you take on? Well, because the, the adventure really takes place in, across an entire landscape, you can kind of take them on as you decide and you can kind of you know, decide how much of one you're going to do or others. The other big thing is creativity is at the center of any sport game that we can come up with. So we did move over that entire creature creator and the procedural animation so that the importance of that is that players are going to be able to design any creature that they can imagine and we will bring it to life. Collecting those parts and the DNA that allows you to evolve and give your creature new abilities to take on new challenges is part of that sort of evolution gameplay and that is similar to Spore. Great, and as you add parts to your creature or however you evolve them, however you create them, does that open up new gameplay styles with the controls? Can you explain how that works? Well, it's kind of fun because as you add new parts, as I said, first of all, you're kind of simple and you, got, you just use the um, sort of analog control to move and the buttons to ultimately kind of do special moves. As you add parts, you get new combinations. So, for instance, if you're in combat and you have added both, you know, sort of slashers and spit parts, you can get a new combo to take advantage of while you're in combat. So it kind of evolves with you. you don't don't have to learn everything all at once, which makes it a little bit more accessible. But as you add parts, you get a lot of fun to play with. Cool. Now, uh, because I haven't seen the game, is there anything else you want to mention about Sport Hero that I haven't asked? Well, the other thing is just, honestly, the team has come up with a really engaging and beautiful art style. It is very, you know, sort of painted textures. It's a landscape that just makes you want to explore. And it's a ton of fun to ultimately take advantage of the uh, overall planet landscape lots of different continents and different styles that you're going to explore and collect new objects and new things that are going to help you in your quest to save the planet. Which reminded me of one more question. When you, when I start Spore Hero, uh, is it different than your experience when you started? In other words, how, how varied are the, the starting worlds? Well, right from the start, the player ultimately has a lot of choice because how they ultimately decide to create their creature, where they invest their DNA points, is going to really take a different path for anyone. You do start in the same sort of place, as this little unevolved creature that is going to have to take on challenges. But from there, the direction that you take and the choices and how you're going to play the adventure is going to be up to you. True Maxis style. It ends where you want it to. Uh, one more question, Lucy. When's uh, Sport Hero coming to us, coming to us on the Wii? Um, we have it coming out on the, on the Nintendo Wii this fall, along with Hero Arena, which is coming out for the Nintendo DS, where for the first time we're actually bringing you the full 3D creature creator on the DS. And same kind of area of the g galaxy, where these meteors have fallen and some of them are bad and you're going to have to help take care of other planets in a very battle arena style gameplay for the DS. Sounds good. Lucy, thank you so much. Thank you.